Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see three phase connections that is delta connection. In the previous video, we have seen star connection where three coils are considered and connected in a star fashion. Now the same three coils which are connected in delta fashion, let me call this point as A, this is B and this is C. So if you write the currents over here, this is IA that is line current and if we treat the current flowing through this path that is IAB and similarly this is IB so current flowing through this path is IBC from B point to C point and current flowing through this line is IC and current flowing through this phase is ICA. So here we can see the currents, the line currents and the phase currents are different. In the star connection we have seen the currents are same but the voltages with respect to the phase and line are different. Here in the delta connection if you observe the voltage between these two points EAB it is here and it is same if you measure the voltage between the two lines or if you measure the voltage across this phase. So voltages are same here. So we can write EL that is line voltage will be equal to E phase. So we need to derive the relationship between the currents now. The line current and phase currents. So here I am going to consider this point A and if I am going to write the expression for IA that is line current IA it will be equal to the two branches here one is IAB another one is ICA which is coming in the opposite direction to this point and IAB is going outwards so IA is equal to IAB minus ICA I can write so here again to derive the expression or the relationship between the phase and line currents I need to go for the phasor diagram with respect to currents. So by taking these three currents I am going to write the phasor diagram as let me treat this as IBC phasor and here we have ICA this is ICA and here I will be having IAB. These three are the phasors which are differed by 120 degree. Similarly as we seen in the star connection which are voltages here they are currents. So I need to calculate IA. IA is having IAB minus ICA. So this is IAB this is ICA since I will be having minus I need to project it back. So the addition of these two will be IA. So I am going to get IA here the addition of these two. This is IA. So now I am going to connect these two and we know that the total angle is 120 degree. So this becomes 60. So this becomes 30 degree. Now I need to again write the perpendicular. I need to draw the perpendicular from this point to join here. Now this is the right angle triangle. So now the right angle triangle is that suppose if I call this as point O, this as A and this as C triangle we are going to form that as O, A, C. Right? Here A, C is the perpendicular. You can write it as I have drawn perpendicular A, C on let me call this as B point on OB. So we are going to get a right angle triangle OAC. Now what is cos 30 here? So cos 30 degree if I am going to write it is OC this is OC divided by OA. So what is OC here? The total here it is IA up to here if you take it is half of IA so OC is IA divided by 2 
divided by what is OA? It is IAB. Right? Now I am going to write the expression here from this as IA is equal to 2 times IAB into cos 30. This is what I am going to get for IA. Just I am multiplying IAB with cos 30 and in the denominator I have 2. I am multiplying this with this. So I am going to get the expression for IA. So I can write it as IA is equal to 2 into IAB. What is cos 30? Cos 30 is again root 3 divided by 2. This 2 and 2 get cancelled. IA will be equal to root 3 times IAB. What is IA here? It is line current. What IAB here? It is phase current. So IL line current will be equal to root 3 times I phase current. This is what we are trying to derive here. So line current will be equal to root 3 times the phase current in delta connection.